Good morning. Welcome to the prayer porch. It is definitely a cold morning here. One of our first very cold North Carolina mornings and um, freezing for a little bit of frost on the ground. It's very chilly outside, but it feels refreshing. It's a refreshing cool. I went out, took Benny out for a walk, and when I did, it, it's just, I, I don't know. My husband came in earlier when I was just getting up and said, it's freezing outside. But um, I just thought it was refreshing. I found it a refreshing in my spirit. But when I um, got, came out to our prayer porch, let me just, God, I love you. I love you and I praise you and I thank you for this day. I just ask you, Lord, that uh, in this day that you would just, just let me stop and know that you are God. And just take in the awesomeness of the fact that you are my king, my creator, the one who accepts and loves me unconditionally, the one who has a plan for me, that if I just align myself in that plan, everything will go like a cog in a wheel. God, you're the one who gives me strength when it gets jammed. You're my vision. You're my hope. You're my grace. You're my salvation. You're my covering. You are the great I am. I thank you for being everything I need when I need it. I love you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. And I praise your name. And I bless you in this day. May you go before me behind me and beside me in all things in Jesus name amen I am um, I want to share with you this morning I was just blessed with a um, blessing that was prayed over me and I want to uh, share it with you because it was just so powerful and I thought it said so much and then I came down again for my scripture this morning and I said scripture comes it's a, a just a simple proverb but it's not a simple proverb it's one of those few words that speak volumes. So I would go there though, I want to share this blessing because when I read it, it just, it just covered over me like a warm blanket on a cold day. But it was a wonderful reminder. And it said, test always comes before testimony. Trial comes before um, triumph. Stay strong in the Lord and his power of his mighty elevation will be the result. He will be high and lifted up. And when he is high and lifted up, so is his children. So is his children. They are just lifted and surrounded in his covering. Promotion, could, promotion called, uh, to, uh, I'm sorry, promotion called, uh, uh, I'm so sorry, promotion could not come to David without a Goliath. Life, incre life decisions could not have come to Ruth without discernment and integrity. He goes on to tell, he went on to tell me that we will be elevated. Elevating him will pull us through those days, holding on our child and joys coming in the morning. And those of us on the mountaintop can look back and say, in the valley, I realize how much he was there. Those of you in the valleys hear me tell you, I'm telling you, he's there, hold on, hold on, because that test is gonna give you a testimony. Building that endurance and that integrity and that discernment, standing strong is going to be exactly what is going to give you the gifts that Ruth got when she gained the family back again. Beautiful stories, but it's all in what you're looking for. It's all in what you're looking for, which brings us to this proverb. Proverbs chapter 11, um, verse 25, and I'm actually gonna start at 24. It says, give freely because the more you give, will return to you in wealth. Be stingy and lose everything. 
The generous will prosper, and those who refresh others will, will themselves be refreshed. What gives? It's like casting your cares in the water because he cares for you. It comes back. It refreshes you. It refreshes. The way it came, went out as a care comes back as refreshing. But then it says this in just the next verse. If you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. Mm -hmm. If you search for good, whether you're on the mountaintop or in the valley, you hold on to what is good. You hold on to that integrity. You hold on to what seems impossible, but you know God's put it on your heart and has told you we can do this. When you're aligned with him, when you're aligned with him, you're going to find strength beyond your greatest imagination. And you're not going to be able to understand why you're saying things. I remember so much walking with my former neighbor and just telling her, I just know God has it. But in the same time, tears were flowing down my face because I'm thinking, my heart's aching, but I know God has this. I know God has a plan. And then when I would start to doubt, she would come back to me and say, oh, you told me God has a plan. You told me. So she was able to encourage me, encourage me with those same words, making me strong and reminding me of who I was in him. So do that today. Remind yourself of who you are in him. Who are you in him? You are strong. You can take down giants because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. But it all is going to be determined on what you look for. If you look for good, you're going to find it. If you look for strength, you're going to find it. If you look for integrity and diligence and the ability to shine his light, then you're going to find it. You don't have to be like anyone else. You just have to be like him. Seek him and you'll find him. He tells us that over and over again. But just like a coin, there's two sides. If you're going to be negative, if you're going to look for evil, if you're going to want to take dirt on somebody, if you're going to want to try to fix it yourself because I'm going to get back at them, I don't want to deal with it that way. Then you know what's going to find you? evil. It's interesting because it says if you look for good, oh, good will return to you. But it's interesting evil, evil, negativity, they're looking for you and they find you like that because you've opened the door and said, come on in. So what are you inviting in today? Are you looking for good? Are you looking for evil and negativity and why it won't work? Are you looking for solutions? Or are you just wallowing in the problem? Have you talked to the Father? Have you found your strength in Him? Have you eaten His Word, His supplement? This is where your strength will come from. This is what will get you through the valleys. When you get to the mountaintops, you're going to say it was that test. It gave me a testimony. It says that my God is real. My God's got this and he wins. He wins. Everything he has said in his words come true. Let it come true in your life. Seek what is good. So the good returns from you to you. Run from evil. The evil is looking for you. Negativity is wanting to get you down. Don't let it. You have the power to say, no. No. That's not what I want for me and that's not who I am. Greater is he that is in me than he that's trying to taunt me into the world. A lot of people are going to tell you what you shouldn't be. Literally. Thinking that you should. Know in your mind what you should be. And pursue it. And chase it. 
And when you're in a test, realize what you're in is the recipe of making a beautiful testimony. Have a great day. We're in this journey together. I'm here telling you, we got this. Let's see what's good. Have a great day.